Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Arise! So... Time to explore this town. Well, I guess it's not really so much a town as it is a mining camp, basically. Okay, that's where we're supposed to go, so let's explore elsewhere. Yes, game, I suppose so. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Yeah, we are flat broke. How do we make money in this game anyway? Doesn't seem like there's anything that's just like specifically for selling like loot items or anything. It's just strange that neither the human enemies nor the monsters have been dropping any gold so far, or galled. Well, not now that we're here. We're the main protagonist.
Eh, those things aren't really a problem. if NPCs actually have, like, uh, multiple dialogues. Yeah, I don't seem like it. What is this ladder that I'm seeing on the map? Ah, uh, here we go. I guess there's nothing really to find around here then. Time to head for... Oh wait, what's this? What's this doing here? Of course, I missed the thing that's literally just right in the middle of the area. told you there's no way Zephyr would have kicked the bucket. Fine, you were right. So, what's the plan? Well, we've got an ace up our sleeve and the enemy's in disarray. I say we strike while the iron's hot. So we're finally going head to head with Balseth. That's right. We can't afford to mess this up. It's now or never. Then now it is. We've all been waiting for this day for far too long. Leave the plan to me. In the meantime... Yeah... You two need to do something about your outfits. I have just the thing for your size. Stay right there, okay? I told you, it fits like a dream. I'm afraid we don't have any Renan clothing. I could find you some Danon outfits. But something tells me you'd rather pass. Is this really that important? In case you need reminding, I'm here because our interests overlapped. Nothing more. At no point did I say I've given up being a Renan. Now, now, let's play nice. How about you ask Nate and see what he says? He's our one-stop shop for info around here. With any luck, he might just know something. Mario.
Wait, so they're aliens? Well, I don't know if you'd really call them aliens, but they came from another another planet. Nath, we need your help. Ah, oh, damn. Never the manpower when you... Huh? Help, huh? What kind? Is it urgent? Well, no, not exactly. Well, in that case, would you mind helping me out with something first? The work's really piled up around here. What is it you'd like us to do? Anything you can manage. No one cares about us slaves. That's why it's all the more important that we stick together and take care of each other. Check in with that guy over there for details of what needs doing. And thanks in advance. I wonder if something happened. Hey. Yes! Guess. Got it. Ah, so this is our first, uh, sub-quest? Yeah! I had no idea the Crimson Crows were so active. You sound pretty thrilled by that. Thrilled? Maybe. But I'll settle for hopeful. We know now that not everyone is rolling over for the Renants. Try to be careful not to stand out too much. You're the only Renan around here, you know. I know. I was just thinking about how communal it feels here, even though it's only supposed to be slave quarters. Huh? Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, I guess it is different from heavily patrolled Mosgul. Were you expecting something more depressing? It's likely a sign that Balsef doesn't think you guys can do anything to him. What? I mean, if Balsef thought the Crimson Crows actually posed a threat to him, he'd figure he'd be trying harder to suppress them. You... Uh, uh, no. You're probably right about that. All of the other Danans that aren't with the Crimson Crows accept the Renan's rule as simply a fact of life. From the day we're born, no, probably even before that, 
It's been drilled into us that the only purpose our lives have is to help select the next sovereign. If they don't like the status quo, then they should fight it. Otherwise, they're endorsing it either way. I see it differently, but that's just me. Speaking of Renans, do all of them think about things the way you do? I won't deny that among my fellow Renans, power and status are everything. However, that isn't what this is about for me. I have something I need to do, and I'll do whatever it takes, and use whoever and whatever I need in order to get the job done. To hell with power. Okay, so that's not where we need to go. Also, I've been thinking... Turn the music up a bit. Oh, I see. The, uh, oh yeah, the ravine is the last place we were in. <laughs> Out of our way! Rising Wyvern! Blade! <laughs> yes, I mean, that is why you would heal someone. You know, I am curious how we would fare against this thing. I'd steer clear of that Zoogle if I were you. Oh shoot, it's level 43. Oh, it is a mantis. Let me know if you need healing. Also, it has almost 220,000 HP. Oh wait, if you... Wait, so... So dying isn't game over? I mean, I'm gonna load my game, but like... Okay, so is there like no way to game over in this then? I mean, I would assume if you lose against a boss or something, it's probably game over. But that's an interesting thing. What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers. That's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dairon sent me to help. Hang in there! I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you'll... Hang on. Sion, do something! It's no use. He's already dead. Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! Uh. 
He mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this... a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure a Renan wouldn't steal it. So even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody would come for it. I guess you think it's stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However, it will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. We'll carry out your will, and see it through to the end. Then we'd better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. So this is what it means to fight the Renans. Sounds like you're kind of scared to me. Of course I am. But if I'm... Go ahead and increase the uh, voices up to match the music too. That way they won't overpower one another. <laughs> I think the sound effects are okay the way they are. I'm gonna die one way or another. I'd rather go down fighting. Huh, so we can learn... Interesting. That's a neat use for titles in this game. I don't think the other Tales of games did that. Titles have had like varying purposes, but I think most of them were like to give stat bonuses at level up, like in most of the games.
I like skill learning systems like that, though. Oh, hey, there's another sub-quest over here. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. I'm skeptical. Right. We are definitely not strong enough to fight that thing right now. Let's remember this for later, though. Okay, I don't see any more subquests, so... Let's head to the main story point. I wonder if something happened. You're back, huh? Sounds like it was a real ordeal out there. Much as I hate to admit it, there aren't many of us who can take on those Renan armored soldiers. All we can do is make sure we remember those who sacrificed their lives for the cause. Yeah, they won't be forgotten. Glad to hear it. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? Oh, right. Well, you see... So then, you're wondering if I know of any places where you can find Renan equipment, huh? Anywhere with those damn bright eyes is gonna have tight security, of course. You can't just go carelessly poking around. Unless... Across the wilderness, outside Ulzebek, you'll find the Fagan Ruins. There's some kind of old Renan castle out there. What with it being impenetrable, I forgot. But with a Renin tagging along, who knows? Maybe you can find some way in. You ask me, though, it's a lot of trouble for some Renin rags. If I were you, I'd get comfortable with Danon guards. Those look like the ruins. Let's move. Are we really going in there? Yes. Now let's move. <sighs> hey, Shion, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. True indeed. Oh, I see. We need to uh, leave out the other way over here. Well then, I think we will end this episode here, and next time, we're going to head toward the, uh, Fangan, Fongan, Fangan, whatever, ruins. <laughs> See ya, everyone!